What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over best shorts for the gym. I'm basically just going to give you a simple guide to shorts for the gym. It's going to be more so athletic training shorts. I do tons of videos on this channel talking about sportswear, uh, gym fits, just men's fashion in general. I just want this video to be valuable. I want this video to be very informative. So I'm gonna be breaking down a bunch of different brands. So the way I'm gonna structure this video is from high price point to low price point. So kind of like my favorite brands and the highest quality ones. And then I'm gonna go down to like the cheaper ones, the ones that are um, the lowest in price. And I will say I'm just recovering from COVID this week. I was actually not gonna make a video this week, but our goal this year is 50K subs and I made a commitment to make sure I get at least one video up every single Saturday. That's my promise. My apologies if I'm uh, a bit low energy here. And I'm also gonna show some outfits of me wearing these specific pairs of shorts. Just so you can get, kind of get some more perspective and you can kind of see how, uh, you know, you can put it together with an outfit. Without further ado, Let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, this is a brand that I talk about all the time and it is ASRV. I don't, I don't wanna make this video biased, but I do wanna say like these are by far my favorite shorts and the ones that I wear in the gym the most. Um, keep in mind, I haven't tried every single brand in the world that has shorts, so it is, I guess, biased, but I will say I have tried quite a few different brands before and these are the ones I always go to. A few pairs of shorts to kind of go over with ASRV is the five inch liner shorts. They also have the seven inch liner shorts. They also have a new drop coming out. Um, so they, and they have liner list shorts. They have so many different options. They're always dropping new shorts. My personal favorites and the ones that I wear the most are the five inch shorts, either the lined or the liner list. They also have some crazy new ones that dropped this week. They are the split liner shorts and they have like a split on the side. I've seen Nike do these shorts before and I've always wanted to grab a pair, but I've never been able to find them from Nike and it's sick that ASRV is doing them now because um, this is definitely a short that I've been wanting to cop for a while. So I'm gonna grab a pair for sure. A lot here, I will say obviously the price is a bit higher. Some people can't even imagine spending, you know, $100 on a pair of shorts, but you know, to each their own. Obviously, I'm not telling you. This video is not a, like, go buy these shorts. This is, that's why I'm giving you all these um, different brands and different price ranges so you can decide uh, what's best for you. Moving on to the next brand is Represent Clo. This is another brand I really like. I actually have never tried the shorts personally, but I do know people that have caught these shorts and they really like them. Represent Clo, they have a new uh, subsection called 247, basically like their gym wear. So they have tons of different shorts and the shorts that I want to point out here are the 247 Active Shorts and the 247 Session Shorts. 247 Active Shorts have the liners and the other ones don't. These shorts are probably the highest when it comes to price range, but this brand, ASRV, like I have a lot of stuff from both ASRV and Represent. And I will say these brands are definitely like top notch in terms of quality and that's why the price point is a bit higher. So the third brand, Cole Buxton. Uh, this is another brand I really like. I've never personally even caught from them before, but I, I've always, I've had my eye on this brand for a really long time. They got the warm up shorts. I love their marketing. I love their their branding and, and their visuals and stuff. And uh, I don't know. They got really cool shorts. The silhouettes are really nice. Very minimal designs, and they're coming out with new stuff. I'm sure they're going to come out with stuff in um, the summer. But again, price range is definitely a bit higher for these ones. Moving on, going into a bit lower of the price on the price range scale is Lululemon. And Lululemon are still, you know, up there in terms of prices, but they're they are a bit bit cheaper, I, I guess you could say, uh, around sixty to seventy dollars for shorts, sixty to eighty dollars for shorts. So they got like the Surge linerless shorts. Pace breaker. They got a ton of options and there's a lot of Lululemon stores. I mean, you can even go into the store. That's the problem with the first three brands is that they're all e-commerce. So you kind of have to like buy a pair to see how you like them. And everyone likes shorts a bit different or, or wears clothing a bit different. So you kind of got to make your best judgment. But I guess what's good about Lululemon is they got tons of very simple, basic stuff. You know, no logos, no branding. Um, if that's what you're into. And I've had a pair of Lululemons. I've two, had two pairs of Lululemons. I don't really wear them anymore, to be honest, because I favor ASRV, in my opinion, and 
the Nike shorts I'll talk about in a sec. You know, like I said, to each their own. They got some dope colorways too and stuff. One, two, three, four, I guess I'm on number five. We got Aloe Yoga, so Aloe Men. Aloe Yoga Men. Yeah, I've just seen their stuff online. I've also heard good things about them. They're kind of like Lululemon. It's like a, I mean, the brand was originated as Aloe Yoga. Same vibe as Lululemon. Their styling is pretty decent when it comes to like their shorts. They got very clean, basic colors. Um, they got the liner two, two in one shorts and they also got the liner less shorts. Definitely higher on the price range. These are higher than Lululemon. I can't speak on the quality or anything. Again, just giving more options here. Okay, moving on, we're going on to Nike. So again, climbing down the price range ladder a little bit. I wanna specifically point out three pairs of shorts. Number one is the Nike Flex Stride shorts. I think these are like the most common or most popular uh, gym shorts probably out there. I have a pair and this is kind of like all I used to wear before I found out about ASRB. For the price, they're definitely really good. Um, they got the liner shorts, like the two-in-one shorts, and they also have the liner lifts. They got a bunch of different colorways and stuff. So the second short is the Nike Run Division shorts. I have a pair of these and I think they have a bunch of different models in them, but Nike Run Division, search it up. And then the third ones I want to mention, these are, these are definitely the cheapest shorts you can find, but they're fleece shorts, so they're not like that same athletic material. But if you go on Essence, gray fleece sportswear club shorts for 26 bucks. If you do go onto Essence, it's a website where they have so much designer and so much stuff on there. And if you're concerned about price or something, and say you want to find a pair of shorts, just go just filter from low to high when it comes to prices, and then you can see like tons of different pairs of shorts or any category, any category that you're searching, and you can find some really good deals and stuff. Now let's talk about Anaka Power. They have like classic mesh shorts, really fire. I've never caught some, but I've seen you, you know if you're if you're in the fitness community, you've probably seen them. They're all over. Shout out to my boy, Big Baller Ant, part of Anaka. Now we're getting into like the lowest of price ranges. So if you're if you're on a budget, if you're trying to ball on a budget, then these are the shorts for you. I'm gonna start with Thrift and Vintage. So this is a really great option if you're on a budget. I used to do this a lot. I would go to the thrift store and just look through the athletic short section. And you'd honestly be surprised. I found some really fire shorts in there for like $10. Sometimes find Nike shorts in there if you're lucky, but some other brands to look for that are pretty common, Umbro. Like I've found some Umbro shorts. I have a couple pairs of Umbro shorts from way back when I used to thrift a lot. And uh, they're honestly sick and I would wear them. If I didn't have the ASRV shorts, I'd probably wear them more. But um, Umbro, Russell Athletic, Champion, you know, there's tons of uh, Adidas, go to your local vintage store or thrift store and you can definitely find some stuff. Or if not, just go on Grail, go on Depop, just search up, you know, Nike athletic shorts or just like athletic shorts and you can find a bunch of stuff that's uh, secondhand but still fire. And then the last category that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about more of like this category. Uh, like there's a couple brands, so Raw Gear, Young LA, put Gymshark in there as well. Yeah, all like very cheap shorts. So if you're on a budget, definitely go with them. That's pretty much it. Guys, if I'm missing some brands, I know I'm for sure missing brands. So um, the brands that I did miss, drop them down in the comments below. Like I said, I wanted this video to just be valuable and just kind of give you guys some options on different shorts for the gym. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Drop a comment, run it up. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for the support. Yeah, wishing you guys all the best this year. Let's get it.